Besides software systems, on this course we will also be talking about information systems. So I think it's important to make a distinct uh, definition of what is software development or software system and software process in contrast to information system or information systems development or information systems development process. Basically, the distinction is really simple. The software means only the software product or system that is developed, while the information system means larger concept, including all the users and technology and information and modes of operating within the organization. Basically, uh, the definition here, uh, a system which assembles, stores, processes and delivers information relevant to an organization in such way that the information is accessible and useful to those who wish to use it, use it including managers, staff, clients and citizens. An information system is a human activity system which may or may not involve the use of computer systems. Illustrates the idea quite nicely. It means that the computer system or software system is always something that applies software or computer and has developed software tool for the activity. Whereas information system may actually not, not even have a software component to it. For example, considering the traditional old way of using library cards to manage the books and who's loaning what on a normal library is an information system even though it has no use for computer it simply uses cardboard cards and a drawer with, in which the cards are in alphabetical order. That's an information system and it has functioned quite nicely for in several hundred years in fact without any sort of software built into it. Anyway, the information system is a larger concept than software. It includes people aspects, language aspects, social and organizational aspects and human activity. Basically it means that it also takes into account the fact that people don't always know what to do, people may not understand instructions and people may actually in purpose do harmful things to the system. It also means how to convey knowledge. For example, the information kiosks or information screens on airports are sort of an information system. They have to be generic and plain and uh, free from any cultural references enough so that any passenger who's looking for information from those information screens should be able to understand what the data is showing and that's actually a that has been a problem because uh, surprisingly some pe passengers don't understand a word of German uh, whereas some passengers don't understand anything in English so we have to create symbols and sort of common communication language which isn't restricted by the language uh, human languages the passengers know so that's a sort of an information system there on other systems, uh, uh, information system can be something like Enterprise Resource Planning System, ERP system, uh, which is, was a buzzword a couple of years ago, and it basically is a uh, combination of all the different parts or services of one company starting from the management and human resources to financial systems, workflow management, even factory floor management systems. So basically this humongous software, as illustrated here, which is connected to every single service or software used to manage the logistics and daily activities of one company. So it's nothing that, it's, well, it's nothing more complex than that and at the same time it's as complex a thing as that because you have different services connected to each other. Anyway, the information systems besides ERP are usually something related to e-business, e-commerce, uh, web stores, stuff like that. Decision support systems or inter-organization systems meaning that they are 
ways, for example, do you do, uh, send your tax forms to government and the system handling all that thing, all the tax reforms and all the all tax forms and all the other things is so one sort of an information system. So obviously, besides existing, we have to develop these things. And basically, the idea of information systems development is simply to change the process taken with respect to object systems in a set of environment by development group using tools and organization collection of techniques collectively referred as a method to achieve or maintain some objectives. A real uh, salad of words here, but basically saying that information systems development aims to develop more useful system which conveys the information more in a more useful or more efficient way and is developed systematically by someone who knows what they are doing. So basically, same thing as with the software development, but in this case we are not only doing software, we are doing entire system uh, on all sides of the software to consider users, to consider the information usage, and basically uh, trying to make a technical change to upgrade hardware, make social change to uh, make people change their behavior, and organizational change to uh, give organization new tools or teach them new ways to support their existing work. So basically, that's the what information systems development does, and actually the reason why we do this is quite simple. If the new information system is successful, it enhances the work environment, makes work easier or more fluent, or gives better access to relevant data. It's also something that helps the organization to success. I don't actually have a good example on how organization successes with a good information system, but I have several examples when information system has been lacking or malfunctioning, and it has, has actually reduced the efficiency of the organization. For example, one bank in Nordic countries, Danske Bank, had real problems when they changed their entire customer system architecture to Java based system and it was completely catastrophic failure. Similarly, the Finnish National Railway Company had a new ticket ordering system which had several problems and and so on and so on and so on. So basically working information system enables your organization to success but if you have faulty information system, it guarantees that your organization fails. It also, well, also cost reduction and some needs like legis legislative changes or technology changes are something that drives organizations to develop their systems because if you run out of spare parts or it becomes actually illegal to use your software, that might be some sort of a problem. So, some information systems research areas to uh, summarize or finalize this presentation. For example, development methods, description languages, process models on how these information systems are developed, how risks are managed, what are the fail reasons for failure and how can we avoid these pitfalls, how to uh, evaluate costs and benefits, how to uh, create uh, uh, how to create information system so that it's competitive and or how to assess how competitive our new information system will be. Also uh, how to enable e-business uh, for example for areas which don't have that system yet available uh, for example pet shops or something like that or uh, or basically anything that doesn't apply uh, e-business to large degree for uh, at the moment. For example, the one reason why Amazon.com was so successful was more or less because their ordering system was really, really convenient. And that was not mistake, 
they had really done extensive work on uh, enabling customers to make quick purchases of their site. That was at one time a really revolutionary thing. Also, uh, other things like group work technologies, how to enable people to do group work without being actually next to each other, how to create electronic communities, large thing in uh, game business, for example, right now. Nowadays, because if you if you release successful game, it's sometimes not enough. You have to create a community or brand out of your game to be really uh, highly successful, as some companies have been. So that's it. That's the information system. So basically, it's only its only difference with software system is that information system is the larger concept and the software system is usually the software component or software tool which enables modern information system to be, uh, function efficiently.